glass on the ceiling, the V-berth, and the rot uh, in various places of the boat probably indicate that the deck is fully rotted out. Yikes. I understand how it works. Okay, you're on. All right, we're on. It may not look like it though from the way we're shaking the camera around. <laughs> Ali, you're on camera now. So this is our house. This is our dog, Ali. He's amazing. He's getting nervous. He's shaking. So we got cool stuff, but we are packing up and leaving. It's a mess. We are leaving this beautiful area in New York State, if you can believe it. We are in New York State, we cannot see another house from our property. But, but we do not like winter. We hate winter, actually. So we're doing some cleanup. We got a long way to go, but we're a really long way to go. I don't even know if I should be showing these people this, but. There's our chicken. Check out the yard! Check out the yard! Check out the yard! Don't be camera shy now. We're contemplating bringing our chicken to Puerto Rico so he can live in paradise and not suffer in winter. It's burning off big stuff. Boy, look at that robust chest you have, Chickenio. Don't have enough firewood for winter. Nope, that's why we're leaving. It's we're the main leaving. reason. You know, sailing's just an added bonus, but really it was the firewood. The lack of firewood that let us. We got more stuff to sell. The stuff's actually going to stay with the property. The tractor. We got to sell that stuff. CRV there. Sold one car. It's our final drive with Clarissa. She's kind of a girl. We got a seller. She's got a check engine light on. 208,000 miles. Still holds it strong. About to be 209,000 miles. Any final words? We sold three boats so far. Three boats. We got one boat left. One boat left. Need a, I don't know how to zoom right now. Alright, well, that'll be good. Will you communicate your vision to me of what this is? It's an interview. Okay. I'll just sit here and wait until you start interviewing me. So, what are your thoughts? about today. So all in all, our day is starting off good. Uh, it's a bit warmer than usual, 40 degrees. Big day here in Naples, New York. And blue skies. What do you think about the sun fizz? And what does the sun fizz mean to you? The sun fizz is an option to me right now. That's what it means to me. It's an option of a boat that could help us achieve our dreams of sailing around the world. And it's close enough, Montreal, like eight hours from us, that we could check it out and see how it feels. I mean, we're not going to really know until we start looking at boats. Um, so you got to start somewhere. You know, we've been obsessing and looking online but to physically look at boats and um, really feel how it's going to be when we walk in there. You know, it could look great online and then you get in there and it's like, you know, the ceiling's like right here. Or the galley's like, you know, well, way we big. Well, that's how the gin fizz is. The gin fizz has, has a headroom of six feet, I think. And um, the sun fizz has a headroom of six six. Yeah. So I'm five six. That's a foot over my head. Well, it'll be good to look at both around the same time, too, so we can compare and contrast and 
decide whether we're still in love with the Praetorian. Which we yeah, are, that was a little bit more expensive. It's a big deal. It's a big deal, but we're getting close to making some moves. We're at Crusader Yacht Sales in Minneapolis. We drove five and a half hours last night. It's been a lot of months of talking and planning and learning, discovering what, what it is we're even looking for. So this is progress. And we didn't think we'd be here all winter, but you know, it's no, no small task to decide to sail around the world. So you can't beat yourself up if you don't, you know, cast off within a month. <laughs> this morning I was thinking about like, how many things right now I'm taking for granted that I'm not going to have on the boat. Um, so it helps me have some gratitude for where I am right now rather than just complaining. So just not living to get on a boat even though like there's anticipation and you know we're, we're taking action to move towards that. But we don't want to get stuck and like everything's going to be great and we're only going to be happy once we're on a boat because then we're missing out on what we have right here, right now. And you know, we still live in a beautiful place and a messy, charming home and it doesn't move and you know, we're sleeping. <laughs> yeah. And there's a lot of other things that are, are pretty. Um, yeah, we don't have to lock our door here. We it's just we just let the pups out, you know, open the door and then just go outside. Yeah, we don't have to worry about their poops or kinda of like buying a house, it's a big deal. It takes a long time to pack everything, it takes a long time to you know, find the right house. Yeah. Um, especially if you're moving a distance, which we are we're going yeah. around the world. And not just a distance, but I mean we're really downsizing our space, so we have to be really selective about what we keep, what we sell, what we store. Now, luckily, we have a place to store stuff. I know a lot of people who buy boats don't get that luxury, so if we, you know, decide to ever come back and be land people... Boring! Just kidding. <laughs> but, yeah, we have that option, and we don't depart with every everything that's precious to us just because we're moving on to a boat, so that's, that's a blessing. You know, it would be more challenging to connect with some of the folks that we connect with here um, when we're abroad. So, But that's why we're making the YouTube videos, right? So we can stay connected and people can see our adventure. Yeah. So there's a lot still to learn. We still got to get navigation books and mm -hmm. VHF radio knowledge. And yeah, and I still have a full-time job. I still have a lot of projects I'm working on. and. Some people will be able to make the venture to come sail with us and yeah. share the share the excitement. Yep. Yeah, you know, can catch up in in a new and unique place. You know, totally different environment than where we see some people now. So it'll be cool. That's my pops. Yep. Ah, that'd be me. <laughs> That's my mom. She bore me into this planet. Bored. Happy She's bored. Bored. She bo bared me. Baird! Baird Road. I'm the bear in the I game. I remember backpacking and she was pregnant with you. Oh, explains it all. Yeah. In the... UP. Yep. We're up on the UP mountains. That Logan did, like, was born to sailing by Christopher Columbus. That was me. What, we watched a really, we watched right a really now? corny yep. sailing channel the other day with that intro song. It's yes. actually of the gin fit. It's because it's the gin fit. Oh, that's right. It's the actual boat that we were looking at. It's our sailing song. Really? Yeah. Okay, that's that's that's. It's that's profound. It. That's it. I mean, who would have thought? We gotta I mean, get it some. Must be fate to have the sailing song to a sailboat. We gotta get some cinematic shots. Of this.
Just a dream in the wind to carry me And soon I will be Three I, What the fuck am I doing? I don't know March is four that's my turn. This this game's a reflection of life. Sometimes you just do stuff and you realize you don't know what the fuck you're doing in your car. Oh shit, that's a problem. God damn it, I'm drunk. Didn't even know it. I just don't have any. I don't even reason. You pick up cards. I have four. Except for I have life. I have. Oh, you have stone. I have stone. She is stone. The stoner. She's all stone. So you got yellow stones. Was I mean, you get right, seven. Seven. seven points. points. She's, she's aiming for the seven points. She's all stoned out here. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna say Spock, but Spock is not emotional. <laughs> Call me Kurt! I can do <laughs> Wow. I don't have to. I can spend all of our time here tonight just going back and forth between no, you can't. possible choices. <laughs> and you guys could do nothing to change the outcome. Yes, we will skip your turn and I will just start going. <laughs> you married him. What the hell am I gonna do? You guys just shut the F up. <laughs> you gotta clean that screen off. It's got soapy scrubbles on it. It's filthy. It is filthy. That lens is filthy. That's Sophie scrubbles. Chorus, where is that? He's gone. Hey, so far. He's gone. Hey, so far. Zoom in on that. Oh. What's going on, Logan? Um, well, I feel like a bit of a jerk. I got all excited about this boat, but then we watched the video again. We kind of put together that this glass on the ceiling, the V-birth, and the rot. Uh, various places of the boat probably indicated that the deck is fully rotted out. So we had to pull out of our contract. Well, it wasn't a full contract yet, but yeah, pretty much. Andrea signed, I didn't. I feel more comfortable if you were in on this too. Oh. So it just happened all on me. Ah, come on! <laughs> so we continue to look for the right boat. So some more we, boats. Yeah, we gotta get some more some more leads on some good boats. <clears throat> Maybe we have to save up a little bit more money to get one that we really want and feel like isn't gonna fucking keep us on the heart for three years and make us do a shit ton of work too. Anything else you want them all to know about our struggle? Other than the struggle is real. The struggle is real. He's the handsome boy. Yeah, handsome boy. What do you think, Ali? What do you think the right boat is? Say it, Ali. What's the right boat? Okay. What's the right boat for us? I don't know how to zoom right now. All right. Well, that'll be later. Okay. Well, All right. that's it. <laughs>